Artillery, or the class of weapons that fired munitions beyond small arms range, has played a role in most every military conflict since the invention of the cannon. In this episode, we look at how artillery has evolved in the 20th and 21st centuries, and how these weapons have been deployed on the battlefield. The First World War saw some of the most interesting innovations in artillery, both large and small. Because much of the war was fought along static trench lines, the idea behind shelling was try to soften up the enemy's defensive position before sending troops through no man's land to attack their trench. This tactic helped make the use of small mortars popular because their high arc trajectory was ideal for firing up and down into the opponent's trenches. In fact, the first modern portable mortar, known as a Stokes mortar, was invented during World War I. In addition to developments in the mortar, the war also saw the invention of a German howitzer known as Big Bertha. These super heavy weapons were capable of leveling early fortifications. For example, four Big Berthas played a large part in helping propel the Germans to success during the Battle of Liege in Belgium in August 1914. As the war went on, however, the weapon proved much less effective against newer concrete and steel enforced structures and was eventually outclassed by Allied artillery, like the British 12 inch railgun. While World War II had many holdovers from World War I, the specialized use of artillery developed significantly. Field artillery became more powerful, but also more portable, and therefore more effective. Naval artillery also became more powerful and precise. And the extensive use of the airplane led to the widespread development of a new type of artillery, the anti-aircraft gun. But while conventional artillery was still the primary type used, the Second World War also saw the introduction of several new types of weapons, one of which was the rocket. Launched from ground platforms, ships, and aircraft, rockets provided a new and explosive form of artillery. The Germans even invented a rocket that was powerful enough to reach England. Known as the V-2, it posed such a threat to the Allies that the British developed a special Spitfire specifically for shooting it down. The war in Vietnam saw the next major step in the evolution of artillery. Not only were America's standard big guns considerably more mobile than in any previous war, but new technologies such as heat-seeking missiles also started coming into play for the first time. These weapons would develop further in the post-war years, as new computer-guided weapons would become some of the most complex and effective systems used. Today, American military units deploy both conventional artillery weapons and more advanced weapon systems, like the FGM-148 Javelin Missile and Patriot Weapon System. Did you get to work with any of the weapons we talked about? If so, what was your experience like? Or what do you think will be the next step in the evolution of artillery? Post your comments and opinions below.